We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast while the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just two seventy nine. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. A Kia SUV is capable of taking you far. But when you use it locally to help your community, you go even further. Whether that's carrying cargo, bringing your team with you, ready, or navigating new terrain. Power up your capability with the right Kia SUV. Do more with the Kia Sportage, Kia Telluride, Kia Sorento, or Kia Seltos. Kia. Movement that inspires. Call 800-333-4KIA for details. Always drive safely. Terry and Pat Ryan invaded Captain Blaze's headquarters at night and were surprised to find the lovely Burma a prisoner there. A prisoner of the Dragon Lady who is now in control of the Rambling Stone Building. Well, Burma explained how she had joined a searching party and been captured by the pirates and brought to the Dragon Lady. Terry and Pat quickly helped Burma to escape, and in today's transcribed adventure, we'll join them in their next daring step. Terry and the Pirates is brought to you by the makers of Libby's Pineapple Juice, one of Libby's hundred famous foods. If you haven't yet tasted Libby's Pineapple Juice yourself, I wish you'd just do this. I wish you'd ask somebody who has tasted it what they think. Believe me, you'll get a first-hand idea of what that word enthusiasm means. Young and old, boys and girls, they all rave about the delicious ripe fruit flavor of Libby's pineapple juice. When you try it yourself, you'll see why. You never gave your good old taste buds a finer treat than you will with Libby's pineapple juice. You see, this juice comes from pineapples that actually ripened on the plant. Hawaiian pineapples, which are the world's very finest. And Libby packs it fresh from the fields, bringing you the natural juice with the wonderful natural flavor. There just isn't anything else that tastes like it. Treat yourself to a big cold glass full of Libby's pineapple juice, and you'll agree this must be one of the world's grandest flavors. So ask your mother to get you some tomorrow, sure. Libby's Hawaiian pineapple juice. Libby's is spelled L-I-B-B-Y-S. You'll sure go for it, and so will all the rest of the family. And now, Harry... And the pirates. It is late night, dark and silent, as Terry and Pat enter the shadowy corridor and search for little April Kane. They are anxious to rescue her from the hands of the dragon lady and the bandits who have taken over Captain Blaze's headquarters. They locate April by means of the cleverly made Terry scope. And Terry says, Yeah, yeah, Pat, she's in there. Okay, what's she doing? She's riding in the table. It's April, all right. Okay, then let's work fast. Now then, we'll unbolt the door, take her back to the roof, and up and away. The speed will count from now on, Terry. Let's go. Okay. Can you manage to bolt on that door? Yeah. I'd better make a little noise as possible. Oh! Oh! Oh, my goodness, what in the world? Terry! Not so loud, April. But, but this ain't right. Supposed to be dead. And so are you, Mr. Lyle. Well, look, I haven't time to go over the story again, April. But take my word for it, I'm not dead, and neither is Terry. Oh, dear me, I think that's right, nice. I really do. Now, listen, April, we've got to work fast and get you out of here, so don't ask any questions. I won't. But how'd you get in here with all the guards outside? And if you ain't dead, then how does it happen that you're. No questions, please. All right. How'd you know I was in here, Terry? He used the periscope. He saw you at the table there, writing. Oh, yes. I found this pencil and paper, and I decided to write a letter. You know, I hadn't written a letter for ages and ages. How did you expect to mail it? Oh, oh dear, that's right. I hadn't any stamps, either. Well, it doesn't matter. Take the pencil and paper and come along. We're getting you clear of this place. No use both of us going back on the roof of April. I'll take her up there and see if she gets started up the mountain wall. What's this all about, Mr. Ryan? You'll find out. And you wait here for me, Terry, okay? Suits me. You men certainly don't look like anything but bandits in those clothes. If I hadn't seen your faces, I'd swear you wasn't you. Well, I can use a lot of disguise tonight. Now, you go along with Pat and don't make any noise. But where am I going? How are we going to get out of here? You're going to join Captain Blaze and Chewie and Burma and... Oh, but you'll know soon enough. Come on. See you later, Terry. I want you to... 
As Pat Ryan hurries down the darkened corridor with the frightened April, Terry is left alone in her room. After a long moment, there is a slight movement at the other end of the corridor, and from the shadows emerges the slender figure of a woman. She listens a moment, and then glides silently along toward the slightly open door where Terry is waiting. We see now that she is the dragon lady. As she steps quickly into the room... You will put your hands what? up, please. At once. That is better. Now you may turn around so I can see who you are. If you are one of my own men, I shall expect an explanation. If you are someone else, you shall explain that also. Turn around, I said. Or would you rather be shot in the back? And now lift up your head. Let me look at you. What? What? Terry Lee. Oh, it cannot be. How could it be that you, you are, are wrong? It makes little difference, say, that you are here alive, Terry Lee. And I advise you to keep your hands up. I've never shot a ghost, but if you are one... Well? You interest me strangely, Terry Lee. If you are alive, then I can well believe that Mr. Ryan and Captain Blaze are both alive. I'll believe whatever you like. Makes no difference to me. How did you survive the firing squad? I saw you topple over in the truck, and the driver reported that you men, as well as the truck, were hurled into the river. And yet I find you here. That's not all you're going to find here. What have you done with April Kane? Why, was she in this room? What have you done with that girl? Oh, you must have made a mistake. How did you get in here? How did you get past my guard? Well, uh, perhaps things aren't going so well with your men. Perhaps they're... Willing to double-cross you. I shall get at the bottom of this, and very soon. Meanwhile, you will back up against the wall and face it promptly. I seem to recognize the clothes you are wearing. The kind worn by my own men. Oh, very strange. And you have a revolver, odd weapon for a dead man to carry. I'd better take it. And what is this device? It won't be of any value to you. A small telescope, isn't it? Very interesting, Terry Lee. Yes, greatly like a telescope. Enables you to look around corners and not be seen yourself, eh? I might find good use for it. Perhaps in helping me make prisoners of your two companions, Ryan and Blaze. As for Miss King, well, we shall soon locate her. She can't go far. All right. Have it your own way. Madame Dragon Lady, please. Yes, Tim, what is it? Lady Prisoner One has go. Yes, I know. The little girl one is gone from this room. Is so, perhaps. But other Lady Prisoner One is go also. You mean the lily one called Burma? Unfortunate truth. Well, it seems that Terry and his friends have been quite active during these dark hours. But how did anyone get in or out of here, Chin? Is not known. Every exit is guarded? Yes, Honorable Dragon Lady. Were the guards away? Most certainly no person could come or go without a difficulty. Really, Terry Lee, this strange visit of yours begins to intrigue me. And Jim? Yes, Honorable Dragon Lady. We shall go outside and make a search. Take this prisoner along and watch him closely. He's slippery. Come, Terry Lee. It is time we discovered what new trick you and your friends are attempting. Now then, we shall stand here while Chin makes a rapid checkup on his guard. Go along, Chin. I'll keep an eye on our young friend. Shall return immediately. It is not possible for strangers to enter this place without knowledge. What a pity you're so stubborn, Terry Lee. I'm checking myself for getting caught by you, that's all. Ah, yes. Getting caught is always an unhappy moment. It shall be the same for Mr. Ryan and Captain Blaze also. But if they are shot on sight, it may save them considerable embarrassment. You won't get Pat Ryan. And you won't get Captain Blaze. Why not? Because you won't. Oh, but you, you don't know whether they're alive or dead. You are very much alive, my young friend. And I feel sure you will tell all you know with a little persuasion. You'd better worry about your own safety. How do you suppose Burma vanished in April? Uh, check up on your men. See how many of them have disappeared. All things are as before, Lady One. But one man, Ling Toy, cannot be found. 
What did I tell you? Where was Lingard stationed? He was at door of new prisoner once, the Lady Bummer. Stationed inside the building, eh? And he has vanished. Well, I've warned you. Your turn may be next. You talk like a fool. You talk as if there were supernatural elements to contend with. And when you vanish, right before our eyes, what will happen to your men? Idiot talk. You think so? Don't be too sure. When you disappear and can't be found, there'll be a panic. The men will be without a leader, and then what? Enough. You are talking to delay us, that's all. I'm warning you, that's all. I want Chin to hear what I'm saying. Remember this, Chin. Your dragon lady may vanish like that. And you and your men will never know how or why. The prisoner, honorable dragon lady, what does he speak? He's out of his mind. Pay no attention. Now, go inside, Chin. Make sure Ling Toy is not in any of the rooms. Then come out here and report to me. Yes, so, Lady One. But do not understand where prisoner One has gone. You seem suddenly cheerful, Terry Lee. You do not realize that I could shoot you down as you stand there. You could, and you would. But for one thing... There is nothing to prevent me from... Oh, yes. You want to know where Pat Ryan and Captain Blaze are? Well, I can tell you. But I can tell you more than that. I can tell you where Cheery Blaze is and why your man Singer didn't return here. I know all the answers this time. And even if I am your prisoner, you need me now more than... Uh, 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 Jim, quick, I... Can grab that gun, Terry. Okay. Terry, go. Oh, up here. Stop. Keep going. On chance. I'm dropping that noose over you, but it, it worked, lady. Oh, I had to choke you, but... Now it's your turn to do a vanishing act. Reach up here, Terry. I'll grab your hand. Better get up there on the roof. Yeah, here I come, Pat. Say, that was neat work. A noose dropped over. Never mind the compliments. Lend a hand here with the lady. Okay. Boy, will Captain Blaze and the others be surprised when they haul this car go up there to the cliff. You know, I, I saw you lying on the roof as we stood by. Yeah, as yeah. we stood down I know, I heard everything. I figured it was time to make the dragon lady disappear. Yeah, okay. She's been strangled by that noose, but she'll be okay as soon as she gets from here. Meanwhile, she's a handy bundle to send up a mountain wall. Signal with the rope. Yeah, I have. Well, they're starting to haul up. Okay. Let her go. Well, you've made a prisoner of the dragon lady. Unless I'm mistaken, we ought to stampede the others and take charge of this place again. I got the periscope, Pat, and the gun. Good enough. We need both of those things before we're through. Well, there she goes. Now maybe we'll be able to keep that woman a prisoner. I hope so. Yes, we all hope the dragon lady will remain a prisoner. But there's a surprise coming to our friends, and I'll explain what I mean in just a moment. A few minutes ago, I was telling you about that grand and glorious Hawaiian pineapple juice of Libby's, urging you to ask your mother to get some. But I didn't tell you one of the very best reasons why your mother should get it. And that's vitamins. Yes, Libby's pineapple juice has more than wonderful flavors. It also has essential vitamins B1 and C, and your mother knows that is very important. Another grand drink rich in vitamins is Libby's tomato juice. Boy, has that drink got flavor. All the red, ripe goodness of prized tomatoes fresh off the vine. And it's an excellent source of vitamin C and vitamin A. Ask your mother for Libby's tomato juice and Libby's pineapple juice. Well, the job of rounding up the dragon lady's men can be accomplished, and it will be, with the help of the handy little Terry scope. But uh, let's not take things too easy. The dragon lady is not giving up. And next Monday, may see one of those last-minute turnabouts, which always change the adventure. So join us for more Burma Road Thrills, when this most exciting of all transcribed stories comes to you over this station. We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast, but the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend... This is us saying, thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just two seventy nine. dollars Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. 
Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere and each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.